Hello everyone. Today we will discuss problem 47 of the 50 challenging problems. The problem is choosing the largest dowry. Here is the description of the problem. Is question may the king wants to test a candidate for the position of a wise man and he offers him the chance to marry a young lady with the largest dowry. Now the amount of the dowries are written on the slips of paper and then they are mixed and then the slips are taken out randomly and then the wise man has to decide whether this is the largest dowry or not. If he decides that this is the largest dowry, then he gets to marry the lady and he gets the dow largest dowry if he is correct. But if he is wrong, then he gets nothing. But he, if he doesn't choose a slip and he moves on to the next slip, then he has to choose or reject the next slip. And this process goes on until all the slips are exhausted. In this process, there are total 100 ladies with different dowry amount. Then how should the wise man take his decision? This is the question. So now let's see the solution to the problem. So this question may the wise man has to make a strategy of choosing the largest dowry among the hundred slips that he has been given, right? So, among the hundred slips, so let us first do some smaller problems. Suppose there were only two slips, right? So, his chance of winning, his chance of choosing the largest dowry would be, probability of his winning would be half because it would be a 50-50 chance, right? Now suppose if there were three slips and since we do not know the numbers in the slips so we have ran the slips like one, two and three with three being the suggesting that it is the largest number or the largest dowry. So the possible permutations that could be we have listed down over here and we could see our strategy would be that we would pass the first slip and then select the slip that is greater than the first slip right so like one three and two so we have passed the first slip and then the next slip that we got was three that was greater than one so we have chosen this slip so this is our strategy and we could see that in three cases out of the total six cases we are getting correct decision that is we are making the right decision and we are selecting the largest dowry so our probability of winning under this strategy would be 3 by 6 that is half and if we would have chosen randomly then our probability of winning would be 1 by 3 so our strategy in our strategy our probability of winning is greater than the random guess so I guess this strategy works similarly if we had 4 slips then the possible permutations we have listed down over here and with the same strategy that we pass the first slip and choose the next slip that is greater than the first slip, we can see that all the star cases over here listed down, we have 11 such cases in which we are making the correct decision. So our probability of winning is 11 out of 24 cases. And if we would have chosen randomly, then our probability of winning would be 1 by 4. So if we are doing strategically, then our probability of winning is increased. So if we do this way, then going till 100 permutations because we have 100 slip is quite a difficult task. So now we will uh, develop a strategy and find a general formula. So our strategy would be pass the S minus 1 slips and then choose the first slip that is greater than the maximum of these s minus 1 slips so this would be our strategy okay so that is at the ith draw we will choose the candidate at the ith draw if the probability of winning at the ith draw is greater than the probability of winning with best strategy at a later stage that is from i plus 1 say on so this would be our formula and this would be our strategy okay so let's start so 
probability of winning at the ith draw means that the maximum would have occurred at in i draws like starting from 0 to i draws in these draws either of time maximum would have occurred right so probability of good winning would be i upon n right now probability of winning with the best strategy our strategy was that we would pass s minus 1 slips and then choose the first slip that is greater than the maximum of these s minus 1 slips right so suppose these are our n slips right and suppose our maximum that is the largest dowry is present at the kth place this is the kth place and we would pass the s minus 1 slips okay so the probability of the largest dowry being at the kth place would be 1 upon n right and we would win only if the maximum that is from k minus the maximum thing that is from 0 to k minus the maximum of this would have occurred in this s minus 1 but because if suppose maximum is suppose 9 okay and if this 9 doesn't occurs in these s minus 1 and it occurs after this then we would choose this one right but if this 9 the maximum occurs in s minus 1 slips only because we would pass these slips we will not consider these slips and this is our maximum and anything greater than this would be at on the kth draw itself only so the maximum of k minus 1 draws should be present in our s minus 1 slips so what is the probability of this occurring that is maximum should occur at s minus 1 places in any of the places in s minus 1 so probability would be s minus 1 upon k minus 1 so our total probability would be 1 upon n probability of choosing the largest story into the maximum occurring in s minus 1 place that would be s minus 1 upon k minus 1 and now over here this k is less than equal to s say less than equal to n k can vary from over here so we'll sum k from s till n this is our probability of winning with the best strategy so now we'll simplify this that is 1 by n s minus 1 comes out sigma k equal to s minus 1 will change the limits and inside it would be 1 upon k so this becomes 1 upon n into s minus 1 into 1 upon s minus 1 plus 1 upon s plus 1 upon s plus 1 plus dot dot 1 upon n minus 1. So from our inequality that we had devised this probability of winning at the i8 draw and probability of winning the best strategy at i plus 1. From this formula, we will get, suppose we consider our optimal value, it is optimal draw at S, then the inequality becomes S by N should be greater than, now the later state that is S plus 1 right over here. So it would be S upon N into 1 upon S plus 1 upon S plus 1 plus 1 upon S plus 2 plus till 1 upon n minus 1 so this reduces to 1 upon s plus 1 upon s plus 1 plus 1 upon n minus 1 less than 1 so now for n equal to 100 our optimal value for s turns out to be 37 so for 100 slips we can pass the 37 slips and then choose the slip thereafter. So now we'll calculate for large n, for large value of n, we know that sigma i equal to 1 say n where n turns to infinity 1 upon i turns out to be ln n. So our formula for winning pi s comma n which was s minus 1 upon n 
sigma k equal to s minus 1, say n minus 1, 1 upon k, this reduces to s minus 1 upon n, ln n minus 1 upon s minus 1. Now this is approximately equal to s upon n, ln n upon s, right? Now also from our inequality, this we can confer that ln n minus 1 upon s minus 1 is approximately equal to 1, which means n upon s is approximately equal to e. Now if we substitute this in our this formula, we will get approximately equal to 1 upon e. So for limit n tending to infinity, pi s comma n is approximately equal to 1 upon e. That is for large n, we must pass 1 upon e of slips and then our probability of winning would become 1 upon e. So this is our answer.